Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and we are covering the value expression as a replacement of append internal table operation and we covered what is value expression, what are the various types of value expression and we did the practical that how we can insert the data to the internal table using append internal table operation. Before I will use the value expression to insert the data to the internal table, many times people will use the word value keyword. Sometimes people use the word value operator. Sometimes they will use the word value expression. So one and the same thing you can go for or you can use value keyword, value operator, value expression, all are one and the same thing. Now what I will do, I will go for the inserting the records to the internal table using value expression or value operator or value keyword. So firstly, I will comment this logic which is for append. Now I will simply, simply go for using the or I will go for simply value expression or we can say we will go for first type of value expression. Now what is first type of value expression? Whenever you will use value expression to insert that data to the internal table, you need to define the type. So firstly, you can define the type. After that, you can use the value keyword or value operator or value expression. And yes, so whatever the type we will define, it will be structure type or table type. Now what I will do, I will go for structure type first. So we are covering first type of value expression or value operator or value keyword. So we declare the structure type. Now we will simply, simply insert that data to the internal table using value expression. So suppose the name of the internal table is LT data. I'm going for inline data declaration. Now I will go for which keyword? Value keyword. Now I'm using this structure type. So this is our first type of value expression in which you are using structure type or table type. As of now, we are using structure type. Now I will go for open bracket. I will go for close bracket. It is good practice. Now we will insert the records. And whenever I will insert the records, I will get a syntax error. And we will go for one of the most, most important point. Suppose I am going for first record. What is employee ID? Suppose I am going for one employee name. Suppose Rahul. I will close this. I will go for second record. I will go for third record. I'll copy this. This is our second record. This is our third. I will change it. Suppose employee ID 2. Suppose name Abhishek. Suppose employee ID 3. Suppose name Akakshan. So we inserted three records to this internal table using value operator or value expression or value keyword and we used what structure type. Now whenever I will check the syntax, I will get a syntax error. I will get a syntax error. Now what syntax error is saying? You cannot go for bracket. No component exists with the name this bracket. I'm removing the bracket. 
this is not my target, but we will reach up to the conclusion. And most important point, and generally we do that, and after that we are getting the error. Now we remove the brackets. I'm again going for syntax check. It is saying EID specified more than bucks. Now just see here. We are using structure type here. Whenever you are using structure type, it is a internal table or it is a work area. We'll go for understanding here. Suppose I will simply open the notepad and we will understand. This is your structure. This is your structure type. Suppose I have a table type. This is a structure type. Suppose I am going for table type. You all know how you can declare a table type through coding. Suppose I am saying LTTY underscore data local table type type table of your structure type. So this is your structure type. This is your table type. Now how you can declare the internal table or work areas and work areas. What is first way? Internal table type table of structure type. This is your structure type. Data internal table type what is the name of table type? LTTY underscore data. So this is your structure. This is your internal table. You are using type table of keyword and this is your structure type. If you are using table type itself, there is no need to use type table of keyword. The keyword is type. Now how we are declaring work area? LWA underscore data type structure type. Now, forget about the first one in which we are using type table of keyword. If you are using structure type, it means it is a work area. If you are using table type, it means it is a internal table. Just see here. We are using structure type or we are using table type. We are using structure type. It means whatever the data we are passing, it will treat as a work area. So can you pass more than one record to work area? You can never, never pass. So I can only, only pass the single record. I can only go for single record. One of the most, most important point, and we saw so many people, what they will do, they will use value keyword, they will use structure type, and they will try to insert the multiple records. See, whenever you are using structure type with value keyword, it will create or it will treat as a work area. It will pass the single report to the work area. It is not an internal table. Golden rule or the conclusion, whenever you are using structure type with value keyword, yes, it will only, only go for single record. So if I will go for best understanding, I will simply say it as LWA so that there is no confusion and we are passing single record to this particular work area. The conclusion is whenever you are using structure type, always, always you can only go for single record. Now I will show you through table type because that is our target. We want to insert the multiple records. So how I will do? I will go for data. Suppose LT underscore data value. Now, rather than structure type, now I will go for table type. So how I can declare a table type through coding? Types. Begin of, sorry, not begin of. LTTY, local table type type table of what is your structure type ltby underscore table 
So this is your structure type. This is your table type. So now I will use table type because whenever I will use table type, it means that is a internal table and I can pass the multiple records. Local table type underscore data. Now I will go for multiple records. Now these brackets will work. I will go for first record. I will go for second record. I will go for third record. This is employee ID 2. Employee name Abhishek. Employee ID 3. Suppose I will go for name. Suppose I will go for a function. Now I will just close this. And I will put dot. So we appended the multiple records to this particular internal table using the value expression. Now, again, important point will come. Whenever I will do the syntax check, I will get an error. I will go for syntax check. And it is saying the value of generic type, this table type which we are using, we cannot use this to construct the values. We cannot use this to pass the values. So how we will resolve this error? I will go for a understanding important point here. You all know you have three types of internal tables. Standard, sorted, hashed. In case of standard internal table, that is default internal table, you are not passing the unique, non-unique, nothing. Whenever you are declaring internal table, by default, SAP make a standard internal table. You are not specifying any key, nothing. Whenever you are going for sorted internal table, you need to specify the unique or non-unique key. Whenever you are going for hashed internal table, you are specifying the unique key. Now, same. This is your, we are going for standard internal table because by default, SAP will make a standard internal table. But in new syntaxes, we just need to specify that we are not specifying any key. In the standard internal table, we are not specifying any key at all. We just need to specify or we just need to go for one keyword here. The keyword is with Key. So in the new syntaxes, you just need to use the keyword with empty key that we are not going for any key. Anyways, in the standard internal table, you are not specifying any key. But in the new syntaxes, we just need to specify that we are not going for any key. So I use the keyword with empty key. I will just go for syntax check. And now you can see there is no error. So this internal table has three records. Now I will display these three records. And important points, so many important points. Now I will make a loop. Suppose I will say loop at LT underscore data into LWA. I will go for data one so that there will not be any confusion. And in the line itself, I will declare this work area. Data keyword. Now I will go for write statement. Write. LWA data 1, employee ID. LWA data 1. You can see employee. Just see, if we talk about this append, previously you have written this much logic to append the data to internal table. Now we are only going for one, this single line, nothing. We just put this line and data is inserted to internal table. I will show you in that debugging mode. And we discussed, this is the way of minimal coding. 
I will put a breakpoint. I will run this. I will show you in the debugging mode. I'll go to desktop three, most preferable desktop. You can see work area blank. I'm doing F6. So this record moved to work area. You are using structure type, so you can only go for single record. This is your internal table. Now we are inserting three records. Now you can see we have three records in the internal table. Single line did everything. Now we are simply displaying the record. So this loop will continue three times and we are passing the data. We got the output. Okay, I put the name Rahul itself. I just check why the name is displaying Rahul. I'll just check. We'll see in that debugging mode. First record inserted. Okay. Now I will go for this internal table. Employee ID 1, Employee ID 3, Employee ID 2, Employee ID 3. I'm going for different names. Okay. The mistake is here. You can see. Rather than LWA data 1, I put LWA data. Because your internal table is bringing everything correct. And debugging is the most powerful tool. Without debugging, we can never analyze the issues. This is LWA data. Now I will run. And we have the expected result. So what is the summary of this particular video? First, most important point. If you are using structure type with value expression or value keyword, you can only, only able to go for single record. Make it a golden rule. And do not do the mistakes. And because whenever you are using structure type, it will treat as a work area. Now, if you want to go for insertion of multiple records, you need to go for table type. You are using table type with value keyword. We are inserting the multiple records. Now, whenever you are using this table type, see your internal table will be standard internal table. Yes, because by default, SAP will create the standard internal table. But in new syntaxes, we need to explicitly specify that we are not going for any key. So we just use the keyword with empty key, second most important point. So two most important point of these videos. If you are using structure type with value keyword, it means that that will treat as a per key. Yeah, you can only go for single record. And if you want to go for multiple records, you need to use table type with value keyword. And yes, now in that case, if you are going for standard internal table, use the keyword with empty key. Now in the next video, our first part is covered. Our first type of value expression is covered. We created that type using, using structure type or table type. This is our structure type. This is our table type. In the next video, we will go for hash. And that is most preferred because in case of hash, no confusion at all. So people rather than using structure type, table type, they will simply, simply use the keyword hash. And that is most preferred and most easy also. So we will cover that in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.